In today's fast-paced market, brand user interactions happen everywhere, on social media, online stores, and through customer service. Every touch point influences how customers see your brand. How can businesses track these interactions? The answer is customer journey mapping. It helps improve user experience and satisfaction. Welcome to the YeDraw channel, I'm Steve, and in this video we'll explain what a customer journey map is, how to use it, and show real-life examples. Plus, we'll demonstrate how to create your own map with YeDraw AI's collaboration features. Skip to section 5 for the tutorial. By the end, you'll gain insights into your customers, refine your offerings, and boost sales. Whether you're a business owner or marketer, don't miss it. Customer journey mapping can visualize the entire experience, highlighting every touch point with your brand online and offline. This helps businesses see their brand through the customer's eyes, revealing pain points and areas that need improvement. Research from Gartner shows companies using customer journey maps are twice as likely to outperform competitors. Here's six key benefits. One, emphasize with customers. Understand pain points and motivations, revealing why customers may choose competitors. Two, unify team perspectives. Align teams by providing a shared view of the customer experience. Three, gain insights. Identify customers' expectations at different stages to improve experiences. Four, boost decision-making. A big picture view helps streamline processes, increase satisfaction, and reduce complaints. Five, create a customer-centric culture. Guide training and improvements to enhance service and retention. And six, predict and influence behavior. A well-crafted map can guide customer decisions and align actions with business goals. Creating a customer journey map involves five key steps. One, map the stages. Identify key stages like discovering a product, viewing details, and purchasing. Two, identify user actions. Collect data on actions at every stage. For example, searching, browsing, selecting, etc. Three, map emotions and feedback. Track customer emotions to spot satisfaction or frustration points. Four, identify pain points. Recognize obstacles like unclear info or misleading ads. Five, clarify needs. Address pain points by defining customer needs, such as reliable product info. Unlike the previous tutorial on how to map it from scratch, now with our expanded templates library and powerful AI features, the process has been completely transformed. If you already have something in mind, I bet you can finish the task in 30 minutes or less. First up, number one, find a suitable template in the templates community. If you're lucky, you might find an icon that perfectly matches your needs without having to make many changes. Then, download it. Two, yidraw.ai can offer you a real-time online collaboration experience where you and your team could share cloud storage for your documents. The best part, you don't need to take up any space on your hard drive. So here we are inside Yidraw. We just go up to get started, click on recent, import, and then select the template file. This is the editing interface where you can edit everything you want. You change the text, the colors, or add something completely new. And up here on the right is where you can share and you can get a link for your team or even your customers for efficient collaboration. Once you're done, over here you have the export button. That's how you get your own customer journey map. Simple, right? Before we wrap up today's video, let's check out a few real-life customer journey maps to give you some practical examples to help guide your own process. One, this one is for online shopping platforms. Visually shows the different stages customers go through during the online purchasing process. It's pretty standard and includes all the key elements we've talked about. Two. The second one looks like it was created for an offline retail section of a headphones brand. Cutting out any unnecessary details and only including the essential information. The map assumes the viewer already understands what each row represents. But after this introduction, I'm sure you'll be able to understand it easily. 
And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. I've also left all the websites and template links in the description down below, so feel free to check them out if you need them. And I will see you in the next one.